Greetings YouTube neighbors. So this is one of the big things we do on the farm is we take care of chickens. So I wanted to just show kind of a demonstration or just an example of how we are doing it. So right here we have about a, I think it's a 60 to 70 gallon actually horse watering bucket. It's just a big plastic tub. It's pretty light actually. Um, and then we start growing the chicks in here. So these chicks are about six weeks old. Yeah. Somewhere in that ballpark. And so they're actually about ready to leave um, the nursery area. The big thing for where we live is that we will still get frost this time of year And so we're actually just paying attention to the weather when it stops uh, Doing the frost at night. We'll start to move them out So these are mainly Americanas and actually there's two little turkeys in here One of them's right there. He's the wild variant and then this is the domesticated turkey And then the goofy thing is the rest are actually all the same Americana turkey or er, chicken uh, but they end up looking different colors. They're kind of unique in that aspect. And so you can see we just have two um, kind of devices in it. You got a water feeder and then the food uh, feeder. And we've had the same ones in there the whole time. You do switch out feed as they get older. And then over there we had the heat lamp up. So we've recently taken down the heat lamp because they didn't need it. They're big enough. But otherwise we left the heat lamp on 24-7. In the garage here, uh, it's heated up to 40 degrees, but this time of year, it really doesn't get below 50. And so that keeps it warm enough for them to stay healthy. And we usually have a really good survival rate with chickens with this type of setup. So next, I wanna show you guys our main coop. And this is our main coop for our adult chickens. So this was actually a, a boiler room for a hatchery that was on the farm. Um, so we just kind of renovated it to make it work for us. It didn't really require much. We just installed a little latch on it so we can latch and shut the door when we're in here. If you want to come in. Here's a little coop boxes I've made. Um, and then we installed this so they just wouldn't sit up here and, and poop on this shelf. It kind of keeps the coop a lot cleaner. And then I made a little bit of a roosting area. They aren't too picky. This actually works pretty good, but we're adding chickens to the coop. So I'm actually going to add little additions to this to make more room for them to roost at night. Um, we have been out here late at night and we find that most of them actually like sitting up in the roost area. So these boards, these little marks in them are just so they can walk up easily to the coop area. And these marks I just did with the chainsaw, just ran through nick the board up to make it easier for them to walk in and out on and then i just put one screw in just to kind of keep them there because they're not too hard on things we use wood shavings in here and for us this is really important especially in the winter because um, this is concrete below us and that'd be really hard on the feet and keeping keeping warmth in the coop area so we leave that pretty much covered all year round and then i punch this hole because outside this is actually our caged in run Let's take you out there next. All right, a little change of perspective. That was the coop we were just in. So I'm gonna show you the run. So me and a buddy kind of did the rest of this. These are actually, uh, I think they're eight feet posts that I pounded in with the tractor. So they're a little bit into the ground and then I dug out a little rut everywhere so I could actually put the cage down. We did have coyote problem years ago here. We still, we still have coyotes, but now they don't trouble us as much because we've cage this in effectively enough to keep them away. Um, there is netting on one part of the coop and the reason for that is for some reason our chickens really only want to fly out of this area. So as soon as we net this they stopped flying in and out of the coop. They didn't care to fly out of the rest of that. So that's why it's there. It allows us to kind of control their behavior and where they are if we have concerns or anything like that. Especially in the winter we really don't want them to leave because it's too cold. Um, we installed a gate on one end. And basically, this is our way into the run itself. So we have some extra water buckets out here. Um, just other miscellaneous things. We got an extra hatchery tub out here. It's a smaller one. Um, we do vastly prefer the larger one. Coming the rest of the way. So this was part of the place that for my son's jungle gym we had and we just didn't have the space to install it so we threw it in here and funny enough you can see it's clean for some reason they don't care to play on it um, and this was a, a device of my wife's wife's i guess imagination so she bought a little bit of a small greenhouse to set it up out here and in 
this thing, there is little rungs, which are made for shelves. So we spent a lot of time looking on here, and actually, wow, you can really see they've spent a lot of time pooping in here. Um, but they love hanging out in this in the winter. That's one of their favorite places to be, even though it isn't temperature controlled, it's just enough to get them out of the wind. That was, to them, a really nice spot for them to be. So it really worked out well. It also keeps a lot of the cold from going into the coop from that hole I punched in the door. It kind of breaks the wind up. So that's the main part of it. And then next, uh, we're gonna put the chickens in tonight. I'm gonna take another quick little video when we do that, because right now I think we only got one chicken in here. That's a, a red, is it golden comet or red comet? Red comet. Red comet. We got a lot of red comets there, very hardy chicken, um, very good egg layer. So that's next. All right, and now we've gathered them up for the night. Tonight we did it a little bit early. Um, normally do it right around sunset. Uh, they naturally will come in here. But thankfully my wife is a real life Snow White and they just follow her in. So she feeds them a little bit of chicken scratch and some other stuff and then they come in. Um, you'll see the, the what, they're not in here right now, but the black and white ones, they're kind of speckled pepper. Those are barred rocks. And then these two other kind of traditional colored ones are leghorns. I believe they're actually brown leghorns. Um, they're, they've got a personality of their own. They're not our two favorite because they, uh, they definitely have a mind of their own. They don't like to follow the group. So that's kind of it for the chicken coop. If you have any questions, we've been doing this for about three years. Um, and all these chickens we grew ourselves. They're all uh, about a year old. So... Thank you. Until next time.